Hello and welcome back to another session of Richard Katzman Fly Tying. I have in the vise a uh, size uh, 6 dry fly hook and I'm going to dress that with uh, black thread and I'm making a butterfly and we'll just go ahead and uh, bring this thread all the way to the back Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, brown two millimeter foam and I'm just going to cut off a slice of that. Bring my thread back up to the front and I'm just going to go ahead and pinch the foam. Now I'm going to bring it around over the, uh, the shank and I'm going to make another segment on the segmented body and I'm going to bring it under the uh, foam and I'm going to put in another five or six wraps of uh, thread and pinch the foam make another segment another five or six turns of uh, thread And go ahead and wrap another five or six lengths. Okay. And now we're at the end of the, uh, the end of the hook. So I'm just going to uh, trim this down. Okay, and I'm going to put in a half inch knot. Now I'm going to take some root beer Antron Sparkle dubbing, and I'm going to go ahead and start to uh, wrap that onto my thread. I'm going to uh, start to um, wrap the uh, dubbing around and I'll get up to uh, the second segment here now I'm going to take some uh, Grizzly flutter legs, and chartreuse, and barred black. Tear one of those uh, legs off. I'm just going to measure these up. Okay, put in a half inch knot. And I'm going to put on some, dub on some more of the, uh, the dubbing onto the thread. Okay, and I'm going to pull off the extra dubbing that I don't need right now. And I'm going to put in a half hitch knot. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, my two feathers, which are, uh, they have a beautiful uh, pattern on them. And you know that the uh, butterflies have some really beautiful wings and patterns that are 
that are very hard to duplicate unless you have them pre-made. Uh, I don't like to I don't like to use pre-made um, wings. I'd rather you know utilize the uh, feathers if I can. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, and do a figure eight. Now I'm going to take my next feather. Again, I'm going to cut off some of the fibers. the bottom okay now we're gonna Take another, uh, take some more legs and okay. Now Put a half hitch knot in. Cut off these legs first before I do anything else. And I'll take my dubbing and I'll just go ahead and uh, dub that onto my thread. A little bit more of the uh, dubbing. Okay. And just put in a whip finish near the eye. Next thing we got to do is we're going to put in some CA glue. Okay. All right. And the next thing we're going to do is give this a little bit of a shot of a couple drops of uh, activator. And that, believe it or not, is set up. That activator really sets this up very, very quickly. I'm just going to take some UV head finish. And I put it between the two feathers. 
And now I'm going to use my UV torch and just set that up. And that'll keep those uh, wings in place when they get wet. And there it is. There's my little butterfly with some beautiful wings. And I think that uh, this will be a, a nice fly on the water. I'm sure that the fish will go after that. Thank you very much for uh, joining me today. And if you have any questions, uh, please ask me in the uh, comments section down below. If you like this video, please uh, give me a thumbs up. And I'll be sure to get back to you just as soon as I can with any uh, answers to your questions. Please um, become a subscriber to my channel and I will let you know every time a new video is uploaded. Until then, have a great day and tight lines.